Jesus Lord, so glad I'm yours, so glad you are my sin has followed me. So glad you found me and set me free. So glad I'm yours, Lord. So glad I'm yours. One more time. So glad I'm yours, Lord. So glad I'm yours. So glad you are my sin has followed me. So glad. Set me free. So glad I'm yours, Lord. So glad I'm yours. Give me all in my life. Keep me by me. Give me all. I need one deacon to just get this for me. Oh, give me all in my life. Oh, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Oh, sing, oh, sir. Sing, oh, sir. Oh, sing, oh, sir. Not to the king. Oh, can sing, oh, sir. Oh, sing, oh, sir. Oh, sing, oh, sir, not to the king. Oh, give me all in my life. Oh, keep me by me. Give me all in my life. Oh, I pray. Oh, give me all in my life. Oh, keep me burning. Oh, keep me burning till they break. Oh, sing, oh, son. Oh, sing, oh, son. Oh, sing, oh, son. Not to the king. Oh, okay. Sing, oh, son. Oh, sing, oh, son. I sing, oh, son, not to the king. Just as we worship, as we, you know, prepare here a little bit, we shall sing this one, Lord, 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 you've been surely good to me. Amen. If you didn't get much, you know, don't stay away. Come again. Amen. Sometimes you go into the deep waters. Lord, 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 you sure have been good to me. Oh, Lord, 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 you sure have been good to me. Oh, Lord, Lord, you sure have been good to me. You have done what this world could do to me. You saved my soul when I was low. You shall be good to me. You sent my soul when I was lost. You should be good to me. You sent my soul when I was lost. You should be good to me. Oh, you have done what this world could do to me. You fill me with the Holy Ghost. You shall be good to me. Oh, you fill me with the Holy Ghost. You should be good to me. 
will fill me with the Holy Ghost. You should be good to me. Oh, you have done what this world could do to me. You heal my blood when I was sick. You should be good to me. You heal my blood when I was sick. You should be good to me. When I was sick, you should be good to me. Oh, you have done what this world could do to me. Amen. He's done what this world cannot do for you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, Brother Fram, you could just move that camera this side a little bit. <laughs> You may be seated just for a minute. Uh, we have uh, our young brother here who would like to get baptized uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Brother Kevins. And uh, it has been a pleasure uh, just to know the little brother Kevin. Kevin, you can just come in front here. <laughs> yeah, stand here. Uh, since uh, our young brother came from Haiti, uh, this is, by the way, Brother Petlow's uh, uh, son. And uh, we just thank God for our young brother who has made uh, his decision to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, it is not easy uh, for the young people to come to Jesus, especially at this moment of time. And uh, uh, the country that we are growing, we are in right now, uh, has a lot of uh, derailments to derail the young people, uh, especially as uh, they grow up. They grow up against God. Uh, the video games, there are so many things. You know, they know so much, and the things they look at and watch and read have nothing to do with God. And then we take them to schools and uh, they begin to teach them sex education. They begin to teach them it's all right for a man to marry another man, a woman to marry. They are born that way and all these kind of things. Uh, but right now as I speak, uh, it is actually in foreign lands where people are responding well to the message of Jesus Christ. Now I'm not saying there aren't believers here. I'm not saying that. They are. But what I'm trying to say is the very makeup, uh, the foundation of the society right now is against God. Now, right now in California, uh, they're saying they don't want even the Bible to be sold, even in any bookstore. So you can just imagine. You can't talk to anybody about the Bible, and they don't want it. So... Uh, we just thank God for what God is doing. So our brother came from uh, Haiti recently, and uh, uh, we thank God to have you, my brother. And uh, he decided to give his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, we just want to baptize our brother here according to the word of God. Uh, so I just want to read a few scriptures here. Uh, you can just sit down there a little bit. I uh, just want to read to you a few scriptures here before we conduct a baptism. And uh, because I know many times you would like to know how do we baptize. And uh, if you have not been baptized that way, you can also get those scriptures and then go study them on your own. And find out if the baptism you took was according to the scripture. Amen? So for that matter... I'm going to go to uh, the book of uh, Matthew 
chapter 28. And Matthew chapter 28, if you read it, just real quick, just a little short uh, sermon here before we baptize. Uh, it is just good for you to know how we do baptize. Amen. The, the scripture for baptism, Brother Vincent, uh, it is uh, Matthew chapter 28, uh, verse, uh, I think, around 16, 19 there. Let's go to... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll read from my Bible. Okay, Matthew chapter 28. Uh, let's uh, begin from verse 16. You just hear what the scripture says. Now, verse 16 says this. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. Now, I want you to understand this. That there are now eleven. Remember there were twelve? But then now, there are now eleven. You know what happened. One of them had betrayed Jesus and left, killed himself. So there are now eleven disciples. Now, just think about this. Jesus, the greatest man ever walked the earth, has 11 people. Could you just think about that? It's not a crowd, saints. It is the word. If the crowd does not have the word, leave the crowd. If a little church does not have the word, leave the little church. Go to a church where the word is being preached. Now, 11. Amen? Not that number 11. And when they saw him, that is Jesus, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power. Not some power. He did not say, Well, a little power has been given to me, but the rest is left with God. He said, All power is given unto me. Could you imagine Jesus saying a statement like that? All power. All of it. So if you are saying, oh, the Father, the Son, well, He's the Father, He's the Son. He's the Holy Ghost. He's all in all. He's the Alpha and the Omega. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. You see that? Now, this is the Great Commission. Go ye therefore. Now, remember he's talking to the 11 disciples. Go ye therefore. So, what I'm saying is this. I wasn't there. Your pastor was not there. The Pope wasn't there. The Archbishop wasn't there. You see that? Mama Assembly wasn't there. But the 11 disciples were there. You see that? So he says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Now watch. We have that scripture here. Just tell the same scripture. We have that scripture on the screen here. There is another screen here. There's another screen at the back there. Now I want you to look at the wording. He says, in the... Now, did he say in the names? Now, whichever Bible, even the worst Bible you have. Have you ever read the message, the Bible called the message? <laughs> it still says in the name. In the name. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, which means there is one name. And that name belongs to those titles. The name of your father is not father. You try to write a letter and say to my father and put it in the mailbox and send it. The letter will come back to you. You try to write to my son, whom I love so much, or just my son, and put in the mailbox, put a stamp on it, it will come back to you. Because you didn't put the name. 
You see that? In the name. And did you know the Bible says there is no other name given whereby you and me can be saved by the name of Jesus. Do you know the Bible says God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That every tongue shall confess. Every knee shall bow to this name. So that's what Jesus said. You see that? So here we are seeing in the name, one name. And this name, it takes all the titles. No three gods, one name, standing for three titles. See that? Okay, now, put your finger there. And then let's look at just one more. Let's look at what, what Luke said. That's Luke chapter 24. Where it says repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. Luke chapter 24. Repentance and remission of sins. It was towards the end. 47. Thank you, my brother. 47. Uh, could you just go a little bit up? Next verse. Okay. It's all right. Just wanted to look at, uh, have your Bibles ha handy there uh, so that we can uh, uh, see what the scripture really says about this matter. <laughs> and uh, verse 46. And said unto them, that is Jesus when he had come, thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to raise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in. You see there is a name there too? Just his name. Among all nations. All nations. You see that? Beginning at Jerusalem. Praise God. Then turn with me to us. Amen. And as you turn there, I want you to understand this Jesus Christ, he told them not to go and preach until they receive power from on high. You see that? And uh, I want you to look at this uh, real quick. If you look at Acts 1 verse 2, it says this. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that he threw, he threw the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. So you see, through the Holy Ghost, he had given commandments. So it's going to take the Holy Ghost to also interpret what he said. Now if you look at verse 8, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in all Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now Acts chapter 2. If you begin from verse 1, you see the Holy Ghost had come. But then I want you to look at Acts chapter 2, beginning verse 36. Now, when they came from the upper room, you can read from Acts chapter 1, uh, what happened on that day. But then now, Peter begins to speak. They receive now the Holy Ghost. 
Verse 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both the Lord and Christ. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of who? I didn't hear. I just had a few people. What does it say there? Jesus Christ. Now what did Matthew say? Baptize in the name. Not names, but in the name. So Peter here is not contradicting Matthew. I've met pastors who say, well, I reject Peter. I'm not going to accept what Peter said. I stay with what Jesus said himself. No, you don't know what you're talking about. You can't throw that scripture out of the Bible and keep one. We, are not, we didn't throw Matthew. We didn't throw it. What I'm just trying to say is, it says in the name, one name. And this is the name whereby you and me are saved. No other name. So he says, baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. For the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You see that? Now that's one witness. That's Peter saying. Do you believe Peter was a child of God? Do you believe Peter was a servant of God and God sent him? Do you believe that you have to believe as Peter believed to make it? Okay, that's one witness. Let's look at another witness. Acts 19. Just stand with me in your Bibles in Acts 19. Because this is what gives you faith. Just real quick. Acts 19. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through, the upper course came to Ephesus. And finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost? since you believed. And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, unto what then were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Now, you see, the problem here was they missed the person that John was pointing them to. You see how it is it to miss? But God's amazing grace Still wind after them. Then said Paul, John merrily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. When they had this, when they had this, they were baptized in the name of who? That's Paul. That's Paul. You see that? He got the revelation not from Peter, but from Jesus. When Paul was knocked down and uh, Ananias went there and, and preached to him, prayed for him, the scales fell off. He received, he got baptized in Jesus' name. The scales, he received the Holy Ghost. He went to Arabia for about three years. When he came back, he was preaching the same thing. But Peter was preaching baptism and repentance in Jesus' name. You see that? Now, if you look at um, uh, Philip in Samaria, that's Acts chapter 8. You can write that down. We don't have time to read all that. Acts chapter 8, just write it down. They all were baptized 
in Jesus' name. If you look at Acts chapter 10, Cornelius' house, they were baptized in Jesus' name. You see that? So now, where did this other baptism come from? If this is what the Bible said. And this is a challenge to every one of you. Show me one person in the Bible who was sprinkled. And they said this is baptism. Now, show me one person who was taken to the water and the priest said, I'm baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now, but we can show you over and over every person that was baptized in the Bible was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So in this church, this is how we baptize. If you belong to some church, go ask the pastor, can you show me uh, in the Bible where you baptize? And if he says, oh, you see Matthew 29, he said, but pastor, it says in the name. So what's the name? That's the name of Jesus Christ. And that's the human name of God. God's human name is Jesus. And Jesus in Greek means Jehovah Savior or Jehovah saves. That's the human name of God. You see that? When we pray, we pray in Jesus name. When we cast out demons, we do it in Jesus name. Amen? When we pray for food, we pray in Jesus name. That's the name God hears. So that's what we want to do right now. Uh, we want to baptize uh, our brother here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So let's just uh, sing a little chorus as we uh, prepare as my brother comes over here. Uh, do we have some titles as uh, the deacon to give us some time? Some uh, uh, towels back there. Amen. Praise God. God is a good God. Uh, let's just sing and uh, play this little chorus here. Every promise in the book is mine. The Holy Ghost is mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Every promise in the book is mine. Every chapter
every promise in the book. Okay, so if you want to, you want to sit down, yeah, sit down. Brother Kevin, at the confession of your sins and your belief in the only Son of God, Jesus Christ, and I want to baptize you to baptize you in this word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit for the promise is unto you, as Peter says, unto your children. And to them that the Lord our God shall call to come to him. Amen. I baptize you now in this word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins. You can stand up. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's pray again. Let's pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I just commit a brother Kevin's in your hand. As he starts this journey, Lord God, may you bless him. May you keep him, Father God. May you fill him with your spirit, Lord Jesus, and give him the strength as he walks this Christian journey, God. Father God, may you, Lord God, just walk with him, Father. Lord Jesus Christ, may you overcome all the trials that are just about to begin after this baptism, God. Lord Jesus, we stand with him, praying for him. Keep him, Lord. Guide him, Father. Lord Jesus Christ, may he walk this journey showing Christ Jesus in his life. Father, may he be a sunbeam in your hands. May he be a great man that will leave Lord Jesus Christ to testify of your goodness. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 Another person, the word is warm. Another person want to give the life to Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This is a baptismal certificate. Uh, remind him to take this. Praise God. Amen. May God bless you. Let's pray again. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. May you bless these dear ones, O oh God. Keep them, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, to see every one of them, even visiting with us. May you keep them, Lord God, and guide them, Father, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father God, to see them and to know the Lord Jesus from now, they have become witnesses of this event that has taken place. Lord Jesus Christ, oh Father, we pray that as we've heard without the Holy Ghost, there will be no rapture, Father. Lord Jesus, may you fail us, oh God, as we accept you, Father God, fill us with your spirit. As we believe your word, Lord Jesus, may you grant it, oh God, as we leave this place, go before us and keep us, oh God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. And I wish sometimes we had just time to introduce every one of you. But uh, because of time, we, just, we can't just do that. But uh, may God really bless you. Brother Bruno, God bless you. Nice to see you. And your father, God bless you. Every one of you. May God richly bless you, Sister Joyce. May God bless you. Just forgot, to, you know, when you are standing here, you forget a lot of things. <laughs> May God richly bless every one of you. Thank you so much. You are dismissed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Amen.
I love him. I love him. He calls. He found love me. Salve!